we're going to be watching episode zero, the lost episode of the Daily Bread. This episode has never been seen before by anyone other than me and Tyler. This episode is so old that it's not even called the Daily Bread. It was back when we called it the Hustle Watch. And it was the first time Tyler and I even met in the first place. We talked on the phone just for maybe an hour and a half or so, then talked maybe another time for like 30 minutes. Then Tyler had texted me at like nine in the morning whether or not I could meet up with him in New York. Uh, later that day, when mind you, I was living in Baltimore at the time working as a neuroscientist. Enjoy this episode and just notice all the different changes that you found in me, found in Tyler, found in The Daily Bread, and what you see today. What's up guys? I'm TJ. I'm Tyler's new video director. If you watch a lot of Gary Vee, I'm like Tyler's new D-Rock. If you're a little new school, I'm Tyler's new intern. If you're a little bit old school and you understand the mastery process, I'm Tyler's new apprentice. So, what's going on here? I follow Tyler around in order to document his activities and understand his mindset. And I'm here to bring it to you guys. You are literally going to be seeing out of my eyes as I see all these interactions Tyler has with people who are being either helped out by him, people who are on the same level as him, or people who are even teaching him. Dude. We got Gerard Adams just finished day one. Ooh, take take ownership. ownership, E.T., Gerard. Everybody just it. owned it. E.T. just poured it. the rain. There has never been any platform in the world's history where live, right in the moment, within a day, you'll be able to follow and see how it is that the masters do what the masters do. My whole purpose on social media from day one was I wanted to be able to relate to anyone and everyone at the stage that I am right now and then be able to as I level up, take them with me on that journey so that number one, they can level up too. And then number two, as I level up, I'm still relatable because they saw me get there. Like they saw the work that went in. They saw the transparency of going into it. What's the new Facebook platform? Is it Watch, Facebook Watch? Is so we're here? thinking about doing this daily vlog. Like we were thinking about doing it solely. Maybe it doesn't make sense to do it solely, but we're gonna go heavy on that because I think Facebook is gonna really, really pump that. I just believe that on social media that you've got two different people that you can look for for advice, or that you can look for for inspiration. And one is a multi multi millionaire that I mean that's yeah. by no like that's awesome, but they're at a they're at a stage in their life where it's hard to relate to. Mm. Or you have the fakes. Yes. And that's it. There are so few that are in between there that are actually documenting like what does it take to go from there to there. Mm that being able to do that and being vulnerable and being transparent and telling the truth and being honest, like, it's just, it's gonna separate you from the crowd. If there was one thing that could separate people from the minor leagues and the major leagues, it's whether or not you have a mentor. You might have his Facebook Live, but guess what, That he's talking to you guys and that, that's one form of interaction, but that's not enough. You might have a podcast, and you can get a lot out of, out of a podcast, especially the Sales Wolf podcast. If you haven't checked that out, please check that out. When you, when you really discover who you are, it's not about one person being better than the other. It's about celebrating who you are, celebrating your strengths, celebrating the things that make you, you. But the problem with the podcast is that it's not necessarily the most natural environment. Yes, sure, there's some great conversations in there, but they're still going to be geared towards the viewer and they still understand that the cameras are on. In this series, we're going to have the raw clips of what actually happens. The camera's going to be a little bit shaky and the angles, I apologize beforehand, they're not going to be the best angles because I have to hide the camera because I'm keeping things as natural as possible. How the heck are we so lucky to capture this right now? 
and this is just provided to you for free. A guaranteed free series of value just for you. Why? It changes the relationship when it becomes like, here, I'll help you if you pay this. If you're still willing to help, because like the majority of people that are out there like helping and coaching, it's because it's their income. Like, I get paid to do that. That's the only reason I'm doing it. Whereas like, I make this much money doing my regular deal. I'm doing this on top of that. Like, I don't need your money. Like, I don't, I don't want your money, need your money. Like, that part is like of no interest to me. You ran that idea by multiple people? Yeah, I actually, so I sat down with Gary Vaynerchuk for three um, hours and talked to him about it. What did he say? He was like, it's the most brilliant thing you could ever do. He's the one who told me to do it. Wow. He's like, if you could do anything, uh, any one thing, this is what you have to do. It's like just put your head down and go for high value for five years and then look up five years from now and look, look at what you created. As we can see in that clip, I mean he's literally telling you how he made a commitment for five years to provide value to you guys. And that's actually going to be the theme for the rest of today's Hustle Watch. Communicating value. We just got back from the Founders Take Ownership Mastermind Conference. And if there was one idea to get from the whole thing, if there was one thing you understood, it would be to communicate value. Yeah, that's awesome. Like that's the stuff that matters. Like being able to figure out like one interesting fact about a person, be able to send them something with with no expectation of anything in return. Like that's how you build. Ultimately, like he talks. Sylvania talks about that all the time. Like that's how he builds all of his relationships. It's usually sending like a book or like something. But like he'll find out like something random. Like there's a dude he introduced me to, and he's like, hey, and by the way, he drinks uh, Bullet. Like that, that's like all he drinks is uh, uh, Bullet whiskey. And I'm like, okay, well, I need to send him some some bourbon. I think bourbon. And uh, like little things like that. Like you, you know, no one expects that, especially when you're not asking for anything. Like I'm just trying to build a relationship with you. But like when you start it on the front end by automatically uh, providing value. It's just going to exponentially grow that relationship. In this next clip, we actually have uh, me coming out of the hotel room to go meet up with Tyler. It's about 6.30 in the morning, you know? Actually, actually, it's not 6.30 in the morning. I'm supposed to meet him at 6.30 in the morning. I thought I was being smart by getting there at 6.27 in the morning, be there a little bit early. No, he's there. He's been there since 6.20 in the morning. So 6.30 in the morning? Sorry, that's actually late. And notice what he's doing. I made that post where I linked them all in it. Yeah. Like you, him, Neo, Travis, Sylvania. And also did a uh, Instagram story. Yeah. Linking them. But then the other thing I did too was just like as a value add for Motivation Kings, which is my bigger page, I did an Instagram story and linked them. And I said, you need to follow these winners. So it's like a value add thing like 787 people have seen that already today wow. you know like this is like a value add and all those people have tapped on their on their um, thing so far so like five people went to Travis's page that would have never ever known who he was if not for that you know like so those little things like and then been messaging with all of them and that's the cool thing I just got there, I mean he's already early, and he's already posted content that's gotten 750 views. That's pretty incredible. And not just that, but it's 750 views for other people who are major influencers. Digital Jeff, Neo, Travis, those guys are big time guys. And he's already creating value for them. And that sets it up so that they're like, wow, this guy understands what he's doing. I mean, are you waking up at 6.20 in the morning and publishing something that's at 750 views already? Just a little bit later, I was talking to Tyler about one of the people who was gonna be meeting later in the conference. And listen to how it is that he's able to create a solid relationship with that person. Make sure that we're like keeping track of them all. It's like you meet so many people and like, like those dudes, I'm not worried about it because like I know we'll stay in touch and stuff like that, but like, so many people you meet throughout the day that you're just like, all right, man, see you later. And then never see you out. Know, you never connect any further. But Yeah, so how, how do you uh, follow up on that if that's the case? And the big thing is just following them on Instagram or Facebook and being able to kind of start contributing to their, to their conversations. So, like, being able to comment. Like, last night, Sylvania commented on, remember that Josh Hatch guy that spoke yesterday that, Said his company with seven figures in 30 days. So Sylvania was doing some research on his Instagram and saw like deep down in his Instagram, he had a picture of his son at a Clemson football game. Well, I went to Clemson, 
So Savani, so Savania commented on the picture and was like, "Yo, Tyler, have you seen this?" There's only like three comments. He's one of three comments saying that. Mm-hmm. And so I got back on there and I'm like, "Clemson, stand up! What's up?" And like, so I realized that, that dude's from Charleston. Yeah. And so, like, definitely want to connect with that guy because he lives in Charleston, South Carolina, which is three hours from us where my sister lives. So, like, I mean, it's just, right now it's just all up here. I need to get it, like, I think maybe using that Slack tool that Neil was talking about. Yeah. If we had a tab that was just called, like. Influencers. Yeah, or just, like, relation, new relationships hmm. to where you could have, like, uh, okay, this is Nehemiah. And they kept, like, notes about all the stuff that Nehemiah is doing or, like, the stuff that he made may be able to provide value to him with like that's my big thing is like figuring out like who you can provide value to do you uh oversleep uh, over- yeah totally. <laughs> i set my alarm i meditated this morning next thing i know you call you just got you got lost in all the chakras and dude your, awesome. your, your, your waves are just through. on another level absolutely your waves just trip that alarm absolutely my waves made you call me so <laughs> time to bring it back. met with mike Blakehart. we just got into a good conversation it mike, mike actually does uh, sales content development but he's got about seventy-five thousand followers on facebook so definitely worth checking out his channel but check out what his words are on balancing your life with your work and the fact that they're actually all the same thing I'm like, wait a minute, this man's about to come up with some knowledge, so, no, so don't worry about this. Just keep talking about me. Yeah, so like the one thing that I heard, I don't know, I heard a quote one time yeah. that made me think of like, what is success, right? Like how do you ch- achieve success? And I was like, I don't want to achieve success. I want to live successfully, like mm-hmm. every day. That is like success is not a destination, it's like living successfully. So you were just saying, like fulfilling yourself and you know, making sure you're on peak physically, like making sure that you're like spiritually connected and, and you're happy with where you're at there. Like that's living successfully. And then like to you, like the death proof life is like, okay, I'm okay. I'm good. You know, like if, <laughs> yeah. I, if I get hit by a bus walking across the street, like I'm good. I live successfully every single second. Yeah, I love you that. You know what I, I mean? That. Yeah. How, so how do, you, how do you find yourself balancing that stuff in your life? I mean, balance is that big thing, right? So like for me, we're building up our company and like it's easy to be like, okay, we just need to like push and push and push and like just get these numbers and this sort of, and I'm like, okay, I need to get these numbers, but I need to get my numbers in how many times I meditate, which yeah. is every single day. Or I need to get my numbers in how many times I work out and I need to get my numbers here and here and here. So it's not just like hit my numbers in business and how much revenue or how many subscribers, it's like, this is my life. Yeah. You know what I mean? So if I'm successful here and I'm shit here, yeah. I'm, not succe- I'm not living successfully. Yeah. But if I, I like, I have to hit peak in every single area, yeah. and so it's kind of discipline to like break that up. You yeah. know what I mean? If yeah, that makes sense. I get, I get exactly what you're saying. So in this last clip, we're gonna have Tyler back again at Five Guys. So this is pretty wonderful. I mean, some of you guys say that you want to go and talk to Tyler or call him up. And by the way, I mean, if you message and you keep responding and stuff, he will interact with you. So please keep engaged, comment on this video, let us know what you think about this new format. You know, a lot of you guys might kill for the opportunity to sit at Five Guys Restaurant um, and just listen to Tyler and talk with him as he talks to other marketers and other people who are doing well with their lives, other entrepreneurs, as they ask him questions in a very, very calm, normal, casual format. And so listen to what he says about how he feels about taking this channel upwards to new heights. I just want to do it because I really legitimately like want to help. Like, like I was in like a really, really bad place four years ago. And these guys, these mentors came into my life and literally like, they had more, they had like confidence in me that I didn't have in myself. And literally took me from being like depressed, out of shape, in debt, to making 700 grand a year in three years. And so like, this is my way of like paying that forward and being that for somebody else. And it may be like something very, very small, but like like a little spark that does something, or it may be something like super tangible, but it's like, like how, like how, how would I not do that? Like that's my whole thing. It's like, how would I not repay that to somebody else? Um, and I don't need their money to do it. Like, I have money, like it's fine. Like, but five years from now, by doing that, they will, Whatever it is, like they'll be like, because people ask me all the time, like what, like what can we do for you? Like what? I'm like nothing, 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 nothing at all. I don't nothing. Um, but to do that for five years, first of all, no one's really done it, so like we'll see. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe it all collapses and doesn't work, but 
The number one thing you can do as an entrepreneur, you know what, actually, the number one thing you can do with your life is to communicate value. You, you can, if you can communicate value, you can create whatever it is that you want. You can create major change for the world. You can create major change for your life. You can create major change for your family. Communicating value is the be all and all of being a human. And when you communicate and you are constantly providing value, then you connect with that other person and you're able to think better, think smarter, think more expansively than you ever could before. All right, guys, if you like this, please hit the like button. Please comment on it. Please share it with your friends. Invite others because we're going to be consistently providing value to you guys for the next five years. And I'm so excited. Friends.